بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ دا نیکسٹ چیپٹر دیٹ از چیپٹر نمبر سکسٹین سپورٹ اینڈ لوکو موشن دا چیپٹر نمبر ففٹین دیٹ واز دا ہومیو اسٹیس از آلریڈی کورڈ ناؤ وی ول اسٹارٹ دس چیپٹر انکلوڈنگ سپورٹ اینڈ لوکو موشن اینڈ اسپیشلی دا سپورٹ اینڈ لوکو موٹری سسٹم آف دا ہیومن support uh, is provided to the different living organism by different way either if the organisms are small or simpler they have provided support with the simpler form and if the organism is complex and they have provided support with the complex form especially support is provided to the living organism when they live when they leave the aquatic environment and become adopted the environment of the land and uh, support is provided for the locomotion also for the movement of the different body parts here in this chapter we will discuss the human skeleton as a support uh, example in the living organism and we will see that human skeleton consists of two parts that is bone and cartilage these two parts make the human skeleton and this skeleton is used as a framework that support the soft tissues it also allows the movement and through the action of the muscle it moves the body across the different joints and this study the human is known as osteology osteology is a study of the human skeleton you can see the first of all the structure of the bone we will discuss the structure of the bone and then we'll go through the structure of the cartilage bone human bone normally externally have two parts one is the broad portion mainly most of the bones have the upper and lower broad portion and these broad portions are known as epiphysis in the middle there is a shaft or diaphysis this portion the middle portion is known as diaphysis or shaft this is the external um, structure of the bone if we come toward the internal structure of the bone the bone consists of two portions the outer connective tissues that surround the bone is known as periosteum is the outer portion outer layer of the connective tissues the internally it internally consists of another portion another connective tissue this is the second layer and this second layer is known as endosteum outer is periosteum the internal is endosteum inside the endosteum there is red bone marrow and this portion consists of the two parts one is the spongy bone and the other is the yellow bone marrow which is the internal part of the the most innermost portion or lumen or a simple cavity of the bone so this spongy bone also have a part which is red bone marrow in which the red the blood cells are formed so this is the internal uh, parts are uh, the internal structure of the bone next the cells which form the human skeleton is the osteogenic cells which form the human skeleton are bones three types of bony cells are skeletal cells are present in the human body number one is the osteoblast second one is the osteocytes and third one is the osteoclast 
osteoblast are the cells which form the soft bones means the matrix and the soft form of the you know, soft parts of the bones and when the soft form of bones is then uh, uh, become uh, with the deposition of the calcium means become hard their cells are then known as osteocytes while the osteoclast are the bone uh, engulfing cells when there is need of the uh, repair of the bone sometime and sometime the growth of the body occur and the old bones are then destroyed when new bones the material is used in the formation of the new bones osteoclast are used there they engulf the old bone cells and then form the new one so this was about the bones of the human skeleton now come to the topic the structure of the cartilage already you people read this uh, topic in the matric in the 10th class that uh, cartilage and bones have some differences like the bones are hard the cartilage are not so much hard the bones have blood vessels the cartilage have no blood vessels and uh, cartilage uh, are not present throughout the body uh, like the bones mm, they are present in specific uh, sites of the human body but it also provide support to the human body mm, uh, along with the bones there is a fluid inside the cartilage which is known as matrix and it consists of many proteinaceous material like the gel like structure gel like material inside it consists of the fibers you can see that these are the fibers and inside the fibers special cells are present in these cells of the cartilage are known as chondrocytes chondrocytes are the cells of the cartilage and present in a specific space the space where the chondrocytes are present are known as lesioni while the outer connective tissues surrounding the cartilage are known as perichondrium upper and lower perichondrium the matrix the internal gel portion while the fibers present in them that is the proteinaceous fibers maintaining the structure of the cartilage are known as elastic fibers and uh, on the basis of their structure as well as on the basis of their function there are three types of cartilage present one is the helian cartilage the second one is the fibro cartilage and the third one is the elastic cartilage and present in the different areas of the body as mentioned in this topic what is the difference between the cartilage and the bone a table is given in your book which uh, distinguish between the cartilage like these are the features in the bones in the cartilage when you study this table you will uh, clear the difference between the bones and the cartilage that what are the things present in the bone absent in the cartilage what are the things present in the cartilage absent in the bones